So then he's like the he's like the he's like the. <laughs> he was a very smart guy. Right, and, and, and to kids he probably seems like the cool guy because he's oh, like yeah. unconventional. And he was always jogging. You know, he's always always jogging around this park. Oh yeah, that's a gay and he'd sport. He'd sit by, and <laughs> he would sit. He would come by and hang out with us. So we'd be fishing. <clears throat> we'd be hanging out at the spot. And he'd come by, sit with us for a little bit, and then take off. So we became friends with this guy. Dude, I went over his house once. And uh, I'll never forget, I ate at his house. It was just me and him, too. And he didn't do anything, but went to the bathroom. And uh, I guess I was 13, somewhere around there. Somewhere around 13 wow, at the time. Wow, that's a wild age. It's a susceptible age. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. And I, uh, I went to use the bathroom, and I peed. And I guess he was in the bathroom with me. And afterwards, he said something to me. He goes, uh, he had this weird way of talking like this. And he's like, I didn't know you were so developed. And I was like, what? And I was I was thinking about it. I'm like, he's talking about Damn. my dick. But he wasn't flirting with me. It wasn't weird. It just was like he was just talking about the, my dick being developed. You know? Like a curator, like an art curator or something? <laughs> no, it was just, it wasn't, un, it was weird, but it wasn't dangerous. But then it got dangerous. Because I'd been friends with this guy for months, right? For months, we had been going fishing, and he had been coming to this lake. There was two places. There was a, there was um, Jamaica Pond, which is there was all in, all this was in Jamaica Plain, and so there was Jamaica Pond, was this one spot, and there was another pond that was nearby. That was a smaller place mm -hmm. that was more secluded, but it had like good pickerel fishing. Pickerel's like a small northern pike looking creature, mm -hmm. and so I was fishing there. <clears throat> Them pickerel can't stop coughing. So he shows up drunk. That's when it got really weird, and he told me he loved me. And, uh, like, how did he say it? Did he say it? He, yeah, he said it like he was behind me, like sitting down, and oh I was my fishing. Oh, God, dude, this is making me feel he goes, nervous. Uh, he goes, you know, Joey, you know I love you. And he was, like, probably in the 60s, right? And I go, oh, I'd like you too, man. I was, like, weirded out. I didn't know what to do because he was drunk, like, definitely drunk. Goes, yeah. no, there can be no love without sex. Jeepers. That's what he said, and I went, what? 